So today I'm going to show you this really cool 3D stacking card effect that I made in Elemental. So if we scroll down over here, here's that card effect. And if we scroll more, you can see how it unwinds and all the cards disappear up. And if we carry on going down, you can see the rest of the page. But now if you scroll back up, you can see how the cards all come back into play and they all fit out nicely. It doesn't matter how many cards there are, this effect will work. So if you want to have, say, four or three, it'll work. If you want to have 10, it'll work. For those of you who just want to skip and download the complete template, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. It's going to take you to this page over here. You just go and download it. Here will be that zip file that you've downloaded. Then you just extract the stuff. This is the file over here that you'll input into Elemental. Let me just show you that quick right now. So here on a new page, you can click on this icon here if you don't have the library window popped up. But if we click on this add template, here's that library. We're going to go and import. And this file, like I mentioned earlier, we just drag it into this window. We let go. This warning's going to pop up. We just say continue. This is standard for all templates. And it's going to be this one here of making a spiral 3D stacking card. We just have to say insert, say apply. And then all you have to do is say publish. So if we go check it out, you can see that the card effects works pretty well. And you can really customize this to say anything you want. So here in the navigator, you can go to the card section in this container. You're going to see the card gallery and here's all these cards over here. And you can customize the headings of each one to fit your needs. And for all of you who'd like to build this, that's what we're going to do right now. So let me go and delete all this stuff right over here. And we're going to start this from scratch. Okay, so here in Elemental, if you don't have this navigation window open as this button over here, we are going to be needing it. First thing we're going to do is going to have three containers. The first one is just a spacer. The last one is just a spacer. The middle one is the one where we're going to have this card effect. It's just so that we have the whole entrance animation as well. So let's go and add our first container quick. So we're going to click this Flexbox one over there. I'm just going to change the VH to 100. And then I'm going to duplicate this one on the right hand side here. So this is going to be our top one and this is going to be our bottom one. In between these, I'm just going to click this plus sign. I'm going to be putting in the actual card section. So we're going to click on the new brand new container. Now this one, I'm going to rename to card section. And for the settings of this, I'm going to switch this to full width. And then under advanced, the padding is going to be set to zero. Now we have to give a CSS class name over here. So in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's going to take you to the reference page where you can get all the code and everything you need over there. So if you follow that link, it's going to take you to this page right over here. Again, this video is not going to be this video because I'm still making this video. But here is the two different CSS class names. That's all we need to make this work. So this very first one, going to copy that. And we're going to put that as a CSS class name, which is the reboot stacking card area. Okay, so now we're done with that. It's time to add a container inside this. So click on this plus sign and we put the inner container here. We do need these inner containers. For the settings of this container, what we're going to do is for the height, we're going to change this to VH and we're going to set this to 100. The direction of this, we're going to say horizontal. And here in the gap, we're not going to put anything in, but we are going to go into the mobile view. This here, we're going to set to the column zero, unlink it, and then the row is going to be 40. And, and that's it. That's all we have to do. So I'm going to go back into desktop view. Now inside this container, we are going to add two containers in there. So we're going to click on the plus sign, put our first one and duplicate. For the name of this first container, I'm going to say that this is the information. And for the second one, it's going to be the cards gallery. Now, these names aren't really important. It's just to keep track of everything. So if you edit this later, you know where you are. So for the information container, if we click on that, we're going to make sure it's full width. The percentage, we're going to say that this is 50. We are going to justify the content to the center. And that's it, really. So now we're going to the card gallery. Here, we also say it's full width at a 50%. This one, we're going to say center justify and align items to the center because we want the cards right there. And this one, we have to give it a class name as well. So we go to advanced. This is the class name we're going to need to put in. And we're going to go into the reference page. It's the second one over here. Copy it and we paste it right in there. Now, we are pretty much almost done then. We're now just gonna make the cards quick and we're gonna have an HTML widget, very quick to do. So inside here, what we're gonna start this off with is we're gonna go and get another container. And while we're here putting things in, we're gonna go and get the HTML widget. Now that widget doesn't go inside this container, it's gonna go next to it. So try position it if you can't, just take it out of the container. So it's in the card gallery and not inside one of these containers. And we're just going to make sure that it's at the end. So just swap these things around so that it looks like this. Now this container here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to a card. Now for the settings of this card, we make sure we're on that. For the content width, it's going to be full width. The width, we're going to change to pixels. And we're going to say that this is 350. 
and the height it's pixels and it's 350 then just if our content is in the middle and what we're going to be doing while we're here is on this content width we're going to go into tablet and this we're going to change to 250 and then the height also 250 then if you go to mobile we just make sure that it stays on 250 so here it's not so pixels it's going to be 250 and the height is 250. Okay, so now we can go back into desktop view. We are gonna go into style. Now we're gonna be putting in the background for this. So I'm gonna be putting in a gradient. You can put in a solid color, whatever you want. So for here, I'm gonna click on gradient. What I'm gonna do for the color, I think I'm gonna go for a light blue on this one. Something about like that. Then I'm just gonna copy it over the second color, put it down and then just make it darker. And then after that, I'm gonna change the top to radial. So it's just got this nice kind of look to it. Maybe I'll make this bottom blue a little bit brighter, something like that. And then we're gonna go down to border. Now over here, I'm gonna give a border radius of about a 30 pixel. So that's just got this nice rounded look to it. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to advanced and we're gonna change this over here. And this is gonna be 35 all round. Then what we're gonna be doing is changing the position to absolute. And we're gonna make sure that there's no numbers here. These zeros, we must just take them out. We need them completely out. Then. Once we're done with these, we're going to go back to the padding, we're going to change it to tablet. And this is going to be 25 all around. Everything else stays the same. There we go down to mobile. Just make sure that it's still 25 over here. Sometimes 35 carries over from desktop for some reason. As long as it says 25 over here from the tablet, we are all good. Now we can go back into desktop and we're going to add two titles to this card. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, take a title, let it go and i'm just going to duplicate it right there so i'm going to make sure i'm on the first one here i'm going to change the text to say our benefits it doesn't really matter what you say there but here for this example i'm just going to say our benefit there then under style i'm going to make sure that this is white for the typography i'm going to put this at maybe about a 22 and that's pretty much everything we're going to do to this title then on the second one what i'm going to put over here is the title i'm just going to say benefits we'll use every day now again we're going to go into style we're going to be putting this to white and for the typography i'm going to say maybe this is a 34 pixel just make it a little bit bigger and then the line height change to em and put it as a 1.3 just to give a little bit of space over there then what i'm going to do is under size here go into tablet and put this as maybe a 28 just make it a little bit smaller and it should be fine in mobile. And that is our card. So now that we have our card done, now we can close this up and we can duplicate it to however many cards we need. So over here in this example, I'm gonna be making five. I'm going to duplicate this four more times. There we go, I've got five cards. And now we just need to stylize them. You're not gonna be able to see them very well because this is all on absolute position. So we click on the second one, we can change the style of it. So the color, I'm going to change it. For the first color, I think I'm going to go with a green, a lighter green like that. Second color, copy it over, make it a little bit stronger. And then inside this card, I can change these headings as well. So let's just do that now quick. Instead of our benefits, I'm going to say maybe our money. And for the second heading, I think I'm going to go with promote financial well-being. Now do the same thing with the third card, same principle, go over to style change the colors of these so i think this first one i'm going to go with this pinkish red sort of color i'm just going to copy it over to the second and then just make it a bit more darker so it just gives that nice look and then the same thing we're going to change the heading so this one i'm going to say maybe our people and for the second heading i'm going to say friendly staff ready to help okay so now we're off on to the fourth card so for the colors of this fourth card i think i'm going to go with more of a lighter yellow I'm going to copy that color over to the second one and just make it darker. Maybe make this one a little bit darker on top so that the white text can stand out a bit more. Change the headings of this one. So this first heading, I'm going to say maybe our jobs. And for the second thing, I'm going to say find great people. And for the last card, I'm going to click on that. I think I'm going to go with a lighter purple on this one. I'm going to copy that. Go into the second one, make it darker so it stands out you can see it's this top card because they're all in absolute maybe make the top a little bit brighter and then change its headings this one i'm going to go with say like our passions and for the second title is something like your happiness is our reward and that is the construction of this so now all we have to do is put in the code in the description of this video there's going to be a reference page link so in the reference page we're going to take this first code we're going to copy that and this is going to go into the card section container so this card section, we go to advanced, go to custom CSS and we paste it in there. And then if we go back, we can go and copy the JS script. We copy that, 
and we put it into this HTML widget we had put in earlier. And if we click publish and we go and preview this, let me scroll down, there's our cards that we just made. And if we scroll back up, just like that. It's all working over there, but let me just finish off this right hand side very quick. What I'm gonna do is put three things over here. I'm gonna put in a title, I'm going to put in a text widget and I'm going to be putting in a button. So for this title, I'm going to say our features. For the style, I'm going to be putting this to black. Then for topography, I'm going to be putting this maybe at 110 and then maybe make it a little bit more bold. Then for the size in tablets, I'm going to be putting maybe at a 70 and then the size on mobile, just make it a quick 40. Then go back into desktop, this text widget, make the color black the sizing looks fine and then let's just stylize this button so this button over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the text here to say see more details the color i'm going to put the text color as white and the button color is black and then the hover then i'm going to put the text color as black and then the background i can just say white so it'll do that sort of effect transition i can put to maybe a 0.5 so it's a bit more faded then the border radius, I'm going to make it about a 50, just to make it nice and round. And then click publish and then go into the front end. So if I scroll down, there's the complete section that we were doing. Everything looks great. It's all very responsive, very cool to do. Now, if you wanted more than five cards, the thing takes care of it. So let's just close up these cards. So if I went and duplicated the first two and then say put them at the end, so that we've got the colors going around and click publish you'll see now there's a whole bunch more cards here now if you want to control the spacing over here for any reason it's very easy to do so if you go into the card section and you go to advanced at css we had pasted the very first two lines you can see that we've got this card rotates you can set this rotation you can change that type of spacing there for your cards but this 12 is set to an automatic thing so it's pretty cool um, but if you don't like it, that's where you can change it. Very quick and easy tutorial for something that looks very nice and unique. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.